Hello, um, this is a very special time in our lives. We are turning seven years, hey, already seven years, no. We're turning six years in marriage and it has been amazing. So I'm going to be making a series of videos for us to just enjoy um, basking into our love story. We're going to start first with how we met and then um, I think I'd want to do a naughty video of uh, our wedding and our wedding night. Honey, our wedding night. And then, like expectations versus reality. And then I also want to do how we keep the fire burning in our relationship. So tuned in, this is going to be a maybe three part series. I hope you're going to find it enjoyable. Thank you so much, bye. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're excited as I am to see to see me, yeah, and my hubby. Are you excited yourself? I'm always excited. Why All right. Do I look like I'm excited or somewhere in the middle? You is are this, very happy. You this, are a very happy. Is this a reflection happy. of the status quo of your marriage? Yes. So we're going to be talking about how we met in this first section of um, and this video. There is too much love right here. My nose is itching. She's going to scratch here a little bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you so I much. I think love. we are expecting to get it mm -hmm. Okay, how did we meet? We are going to keep it short. Short like a mini skirt, but cover the essentials. We met at school. We met at the University of Botswana. I love it. I love that place because not only did I get a degree, I got me a man. Yes, thank you. Like a loving husband, and then I get what are you trying to tell the viewers that I'm not that loving? You're loving me. Come on. Yes, yeah, so um, we met at church, University of Botswana Church, as just um, friends. We were even friends. We were not friends. We were strangers who have apparently have always known each other. From where? Like strangers, we have always known each other. Hey, hey, That's we... a phrase in English. Come on, you oh. didn't explain it. Come <laughs> <Sorry. more. laughs> Okay. So you met. We went to University of Botswana Seventh Day Adventist Church in the in campus, and we. Okay, I saw him. What was my first impression of you? I saw. Oh, you don't don't be funny. No, I'm not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him for the first time. He was doing a Bible study on end time events boy girl saw me she saw me i said don't be i funny. guess i guess you're waiting for the part where mr mbha did you spot him first and i'm on or... the floor okay thank you Go ahead. so he was doing a bible study about end time events and i was fascinated i was just blown away remember i was the first year and you were First year as well. He was the first year. But I was year. coming for the second time. Yeah. Come on. Doing a degree now. Yeah. So, um, when I saw him, I, first, first, let me just explain why I was fascinated. I was fascinated at the fact that growing up, I've always been hearing about these things. But they've been kept a secret and they've been so scary and they've been so tough. Even though there'll be Bible studies that you don't even understand. But here I am seeing a young man, dark chocolate. I'm just... The darker the berry, the sweeter Pizza. it gets. Just she can he was testify. a young man and just saying all these things like they are and Bible references and stuff. I was totally impressed by the word of God. Wow. Is that what got you close to this? Honey, that was my first frame. impression of you. What was your first impression of me? When, do you remember seeing me for the first time? In no particular order, I remember this young lady. She approached me after the Bible study she just spoke about. She came to me and said, hello, sir, how are you doing? That type of thing. And I was like, well, I'm cool, I'm doing... I was keeping it low, you know. I was trying to, to scare some girls away from me because I was a focused guy. Actually, I had made it intentional that I'm not going to get in a relationship until I'm done with my fourth year now on my way to my fifth and final year. 
And there she was putting on a long skirt. Was it a long skirt? But no, I don't think it was. It was just an ordinary skirt and just a typical Adventist girl who was, like she said, perhaps, you know, fascinated is an understatement. She was kind of hypnotized. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, and then I got some impressions of her. Uh, that she is one person who was eager to learn, quite inquisitive, asking a few questions. I could see that in some areas she was a little bit more misdirected, ill-advised. So I was there to kind of clear the mess. So this is what it is and this is what it is not. She started giving me some literature to study and I was just so interested in, in God. You know what? University of Botswana is where I grew in the lord you know they say come to you be and be you that's where i became myself for real like i loved god to the maximum i learned i studied i was, I was always um at church inviting my friends to church meeting great elders of the church you was an elder at church and yeah when did you start becoming interested do, you, do, in do, do, do your viewers even understand what an elder is could you do you mind an to elder is like a person who is um in an in a position of authority or or leadership in the church who's like overseeing everything it's like a pastor but mini pastor mini pastor okay. but really elders do most of the work in these small churches because pastors are normally in big churches so it's like a pastor yeah okay How, when did you start being interested in me like to see like mm, oh come on man too i mean well like i like i stated from the genesis of this conversation that i have never really been four girls at that moment i was that I was that straight, I was that focused, okay? Uh, even as I saw girls, you know, walk about, try to catch my attention, I just stayed away from girls. I was like, excuse me for now, I'm not interested in somebody. I'm Okay, anyway, here she is. How did we hook up ultimately? Hook up with another one. Okay, continue. All right, fine. Can I say it the no, best way I can? Say it, say it, yeah, in my own words, in my own language, love mm. language. If I may say, well, I had a good friend of mine back at the varsity. Uh, he was a Ugandan. Hey, are you going to mention that story? <laughs> yeah, and then he, he told me about this young lady. By that time, we had established some sort of rapport. Uh, well, not very close, but we But you talk. were friends. Um, fr we were, I wasn't, um, I was friend to him, but not you at the time, okay? Yeah. So, we, I had a little more of a rapport with you, right? You know, we would get along, we could chat, that type of thing. Yeah. So, the friend, my, 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 my friend, my friend said to me, well, man, I think I have uh, an interest in that girl, so could you go ahead and... Can I just mention that I only heard the story at the wedding day. Really? Can you, can you do that? Unless you told me just before the wedding, but you to listen to calling hello, Jell. I'm not sure about that part, but anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ignore it and proceed. So, the guy said, "Well, may you become my messenger. Go and break the message to her. But look, mm -hmm. I'm interested in her. So I accepted the task or the assignment of my good friend, a very good friend of mine at the time. So I went ahead, and <clears throat> I was supposed to go and see this young lady." And let her know what my friend feels about her and all that type of thing. Okay. So on my way, on my way, there has been an to my inter room, by the way. There has been an interlude. What is an interlude? Okay. Actually, before I went to see her, um, as I was supposedly scheduled to see her, I had a change of mind. Oh. I was sitting back at home. Uh, one afternoon, oh. remember I was an I was an off off campus a student, so I decided to let my friend via a text message <laughs> that I'm no longer willing to go <laughs> and to deliver the message because? on his behalf to her because for some strange reason that I couldn't explain at the time, I had developed a spark of interest. In her as well. And my friend got so furious. <laughs> he got so angry at me. Betrayal of the brother. He started telling me that he was like seven steps ahead of me. I stand no chance at that girl. He started kind of intimidating me. And we met. 
we met live. By the way, the friend I met, never said anything to me. I met, I met, I met my friend later on Sabbath, and then we had to talk about it with uh, DUB. And the guy was still furious and no. insistent and persistent. That look, my friend, this one, forget about it. You stand zero chance. No. Forget about it. I have done a lot of groundwork, and I was like, oh. okay, fine, man. You know what? You are my Mr. brother. Liar. You understand? You he are my brother. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to. Uh, to to ruin your chances. I was like, okay, fine. I have an interest in her, and right now you can't persecute me for having interest. an interest in that girl. It's me and that. I'm not saying I'm going ahead of you. So I'm saying because of this. I don't think I'm the right person to go ahead. No. Pay adventure then. This is you a beautiful should, story. Perhaps then you should go on your own. Level. For your own. Mm. For your own sake. For your own interest. And so he was like, no, I don't think I should go ahead. But I'm like, no, no, no. I'm willing to, to, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to step back and even watch you do your thing the best way you can. And of course, he was bitter. He was angry. And... He but never, didn't even come to me. Not even, not even. He never, he, he never came that close. All right. So, to cut yeah. the long story short.